Hey guys, tested my audio and then we'll get going. Sounded like the music was a little loud, so I turned it down. Let's test this out. And yeah, we're gonna be making a bunch of ghosts today. As many as I can, I think. Let me know in the chat which ghost you guys want me to start with. Um, while I'm getting all set up, I gotta go grab a couple more things, but I'm not sure which one to start with. We got the choices is between a classic ghost, a um, Boo from Super Mario Brothers, Pac-Man, or I mean Pinky from Pac-Man, or Ghastly from Pokemon. Your choice. I guess the music stopped for some reason. I'm gonna try to fix that really quick and then I'll get started.
Okay, well, we are downloading the music to the Mac so that I can just start it playing. But it's going to take a second. So in the meantime, let's just get going, and I'll get working on it live. And here is my hands. They're right here. And hello, hello, and welcome to the spookiest show in all the land. Look how spooky we are. Ooh, that's me being spooky. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird without music a little bit, right? Um, that music, for some reason, reminded me of Universal Studios. I don't know why. Anyhow, today we are going to be making a bunch of different kinds of ghosts. Here you can see this is a little classic ghost here. I, I saw a lot of people saying they wanted a, the classic ghost. Um, so we're going to start probably with that one. But let's talk about what you're going to need first. Um, Today, you're going to need the following materials. Now, you can get all these materials in a great little crochet kit that I have available for purchase. I actually put a link in the description below to where you can get kits um, for this. Uh, and it includes all the materials that I'm about to list, um, including all the, a, a few little tools. Um, so you're going to need the following materials. You're going to need the following yarn in... A, I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton uh, and the following colors. I'm using white, pink, black, maroon, and then you'll need a little bit of needle felt. This is for making um, the, the ectoplasm on gas leaf. And because you're going to be using needle felt, you're going to need a little tiny needle um, that helps you like poke in the needle felt into amigurumi. It's this really cool technique. I'll be showing you it. Um, and I, I actually think I should be using it for a lot more stuff, so I prob probably will be in the future. But the kit actually comes with this as well, and the felt. You'll need some purple needle felt. Um, that's just for gasoline, and you'll need a size G 4 millimeter crochet hook. At least that's what I'm using. You'll need a darning needle to sew in the ends like that. I also have this sharp one. I just grabbed it because it was out there. I don't know, think I'll, I'll probably won't need it, so I'm just going to put it to the side for right now. But I might. Who knows? And you'll, of course, need a pair of scissors and some stuffing. Uh, and while you guys are getting those materials, here is how you can support this channel. If you like it, if you like the channel, you can support it by doing a few things. First off, um, getting a Club Crochet membership. That's the best way. Um, you can find all these patterns at clubcrochet.com slash ghost. There should be a link in the description down below. Um... And if you have a Club Crochet membership, you'll actually get access to all of those patterns. Um, Club Crochet memberships start at only $5 a month, and you get a bunch of exclusive patterns, including all these ghosts. You get a bunch of other patterns like little Frankie here, which we'll talk about probably a little bit later. If this music is taking forever to download. Um, and you get uh, exclusive tutorials and kits mailed to your door. This month's kit, which is getting mailed out tomorrow, is for a little crocheted bat. Um, that's actually for two bats. It comes with uh, enough materials to make two of them in two different colors. Uh, and you get to make one with these little fun noses and one with a little fangs. Uh, and what's great is they actually have magnets in their bums so that you can hang them upside down and fold their wings in. So this is what comes with a pro membership. So if you want to check out pro memberships. Also, international memberships just became available this week. Oh, the music's done. We can open it. And we can say, not now, iTunes. There we go. It's playing. Can you hear it? Yeah. OK, great. I fixed it. I fixed it. OK. All right, back to whatever the heck I was talking about. I'm very scatterbrained, as always. Um, okay, so yeah, the best way to support is with a Club Crochet membership if you're interested. You can find that at just going to clubcrochet.com. Um, or you can purchase the patterns. Uh, you can find them in the description as well uh, for all of these different ghosts. And you can even find the kit. That's another great way to support the channel. The last way to support the channel, well, I guess there's two different ways. One is stickers. I have merch available. There's little stickers available. There's some t-shirts down below, but uh, I'm, I'm going to have more t-shirts very, very soon. Uh, the stickers are probably the coolest ones, in my opinion. And here is my favorite one. This kind of cute little, this little dude is a little orc, or an ogre crocheting a goblin. I think it's so cute. 
There's this any one could be a hooker sticker, professional hooker stickers, and of course we got stitched stickers. So, yeah, and then the last way you can help support is with the super chat. You can do a little super chat and I'll have a little ghost do a dance for you. Um, I used to have it so that your message would be on the screen, but I still haven't figured out how to set it up, so I'm working on that. Uh, what do you think of the orange background, by the way? I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, well, with enough enough of that, let's just look at this. So, do, 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 do. Um, okay, I'm looking at the chat because I'm a goof and I should just start crocheting. All right, so we're gonna start with the classic ghost. Music is loud, good to know. There we go. Turned it down. There we go. All right, let's get these materials out of the way. We're gonna need our white yarn for this classic ghost. The classic ghost pattern is totally free. You can find that at just clubcrochet.com slash ghost, not with an S, you know. Um, if you see the link on screen, it says ghosts with an S at the end. If you take that S off, you'll find the pattern just for the regular ghost. And there are video tutorials for all of these if you need any of those video tutorials. I'm gonna put a little wrapper on this like that that I don't accidentally stab my hand and pull up the pattern um, if I can find the pattern I had them all uploaded oops cancel that there we go I you can download PDFs for the pattern so I just downloaded all the PDFs and put them on my iPad here so I could see what I'm doing as I'm going all right how are you guys there is a step-by-step -step tutorial for the ghost, yes. All right, so I'm gonna start with just a simple magic loop. Now someone asked me to go really slow. I'm actually not gonna be teaching how to crochet this um, in this video because I have a full video tutorial already made. Um, but I will go a little bit slower so that you can keep pace. Although we are gonna be trying to make all four ghosts in this live stream, so I can't go too slow. Because I, I can actually, I think I can make all four ghosts really quickly if I just give myself the motivation. Ooh. Oh, I forgot about the eyes. You're also going to need safety bead eyes. Um, I like using size six millimeter. I have them all on this little jar. Hey, BB. Yes, of course I remember you. Marty Munster. I like your thumbnail, dude. All right, so we have got three, four, and six. I think my favorite part about this ghost is that um, it's one of those no sew patterns that I got. So I don't need to sew on anything. Actually, most of these patterns in this, uh, these ghost patterns are no sew patterns. Um, I think I offer, well, we'll see when it comes comes down to boo I think I have like a tricky uh, thing for boo where you can make it with a sewn on tail or without a sewn on tail Giselle what's you, my Etsy I do have an Etsy shop um, where I sell some crocheted things I don't sell too many things there though um, just because I like doing patterns more I like spending my time on patterns more but I do have one if you'd like to check it out uh, you can find it by just going to louisloops.etsy.com. I've got some, like, triceratops and stuff there. And, of course, I do custom orders if you're interested. I'm not sure how many custom orders I'm going to be taking because I'm crazy busy. But I, I, have them. I have that option available. Oh, my gosh, that's a great idea. A coffee cup out of thin yarn so that it could be just like a little tiny you probably could make earrings out of them that would be really cute little crocheted coffee cup earrings I have to crochet a coffee cup uh, I meant to do it last night but I'll show you what it's for for the halftime show uh, this song this song is epic well, I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit and that I'm and then I'll turn the audio up there oh 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 there we go and I'm not breaking anything everything's fine and everything's fine 
Whoa, we have 91 viewers right now. That's crazy. Hello, everybody. Um, what music are we listening to? We're listening to, uh, I get, I'm, I just looked up spooky Halloween Nintendo music. So I think it's just a compilation of a bunch of different Nintendo, um, games with like spooky music, probably a bunch of like boo levels and stuff like that. My favorite Nintendo spooky game is definitely Luigi's Mansion 3. It's the new one that just came out on the Switch. Well, I guess it came out like last year, but still, it's wonderful. Highly suggested. Maybe Jules and I will do a Let's Play sometime this month. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure. We got a lot of plans this month. We're going to try starting a podcast this month. So keep an eye out for that. Jules, by the way, is my girlfriend. She is a knitter. So I'm the crocheter. She's the knitter. And so she was like, hey, I've been listening to all these knitting podcasts, and I think it'd be fun to do one. And I was like, well, I got all the stuff to set it up. Let's let's just do it. And so she's been trying to figure out segments and things like that. We've got a recording date planned and stuff like that. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm excited about that. I think the gist is going to be basically where we're, we're going to be talking about, um, well, we're going to be talking about a lot of things, projects that we've been working on, um, ideas that we have, and then we're also just going to be talking about com the community in general, um, people we were really big fans of, and uh, yeah, just, it's going to be all, all yarn-based. Oh my gosh. Marty, you beat Luigi's Mansion 3 in one day. That's wild, dude. Me and Jules played it a lot. And uh, I, I think my favorite part about Luigi's Mansion, the, the new one, is Gooigi. So in it, you can be... Um, uh, Luigi has a, like, a thing on his backpack where he can make a goo version of himself. And it's like this... <laughs> it's like this green, gooey version of him. And... I think what I love most about it is that it's really, really fun to co-op, to play, like, with someone else. And it's totally, like, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's the best version of co-op of, of any game that I've played. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. I think it's, a like, one of the best games on the Switch. I mean, obviously, we got Breath of the Wild and stuff, so it's not going to beat that. Gooigi <laughs> is a good boy. Hey, my dad's apparently in the chat somewhere. Where is he? Where is he? Mel Bell said hey. I don't see him, though. Maybe I'm just missing him. But if you see him... Hello, Dad, if he's there. Oh, there he is. Hey, Dad. I went down to visit my dad uh, this week. Well, visit my parents and family in general. And yeah, it was great. We, I got a bunch of wire because I want to work on a new puppet. Me and my dad worked on a little bit of it earlier. But I think it'd be fun to have a, a little puppet that is the host of, of the show. You know, that's, that's showing the, when, when we do the halftime show and stuff. And, and in the beginning, he'll do all the, he'll do all the like, hello and welcome to the live stream kind of thing. So I'm working on some ideas for that. I just think it'd be a lot of fun. I mostly want to use it for stitched. Um, I want to start doing stitched live streams again. And so I want him there for that. You know what might work for that, Marty? Ooh, I got the hiccups. Um, whoa, you're making candy cane. My dad makes um, things out of metal. He does like... Uh, metalworking. I, I don't really know. He, like, ba basically blacksmithing. And I'm really curious of what these candy canes are. But here's, here's like, this is so simple. This really is not a great example of the work that he does because he does incredible stuff. But here are these cool little swords that he has made for me out of nails. He just smashes them down. I ask for them to be very, like, um, 
very rustic looking so that they're they look still like nails for my orcs um, but yeah this is not a great example of the work that he does he does incredible stuff he's working on a website now so I'll keep you guys updated whenever he comes out with something like that and if you like this video by the way if you like it please uh, give it a like down below um, I think our record is maybe 200 maybe 300 likes I think it's like 200 during the live stream if we could beat that that would be dope I mean you know if we can't that's fine too it's no big deal but if you like it prove it prove it prove it <laughs> all right so we got the body made now we got some arms this is a great uh this is a great beginner's pattern because it really doesn't have it's got like all the beginner stitches that you need and it's not too too tricky one two three four and five and it doesn't have any color changes i think that's the biggest trick for beginners is color changes one two three and Four. I love making bobble stitches. My favorite stitch. I'm really proud of this kit. Um, they have there. There hasn't been too many sales of them, to be completely honest. But you know, it's. Uh, I'm still really proud of it. So if you want to get one of these kits, they're available. I think the. I just think that the purple um, making the ghastly with the purple felt and stuff is really cool. So I, <laughs> I just made myself one of these kits. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I don't even know what to do with these. I'll probably hide them all around my, um, my apartment building. I've been doing that with the with those little bats. I started putting these, hiding them around my apartment building on anything metal. I just stick it upside down like this, and I have them sleeping. I don't, I don't think anybody in, uh, in the building has noticed them yet, though. Um, piano forte. I have not played World Blacks yet. I looked at it. I I just don't think it's really. I'm just not that into it. Plus, you know, cut into my Super Smash Brothers time, and that's going to be a problem. <laughs> Cali, yes. Um, we actually do have a pattern already for pumpkins, but I'm going to redo it. Um, cause it it actually came out on my old YouTube channel, Louis Loops. Uh, I think that the you can find it by just going to clubcrochet.com slash pumpkins. But if that doesn't work, go to the browse section and look up the pumpkins. Um, there is a tutorial for them. There's a video tutorial and everything. But the video tutorial is pretty old. So I think I'm going to rework it. I think I'm going to remake it um, this next, next week. Uh, I have it on my to-do list. I don't know. I've got like 15 videos I wanted to do this week. So... I just got to buckle down, you know, and just do them. Just all in a row. Have an exhausting day. I really like, um, I really like Halloween patterns. I, I, I think like maybe like a fourth of the patterns on the website are all Halloween themed because I just, I get very inspired by the season. Uh, Someone asked a question. I... Oh, how long does this does it take um, to crochet each of these characters? I would say probably, um, if you're experienced, probably like half an hour to crochet each one, uh, maybe less. Uh, if you are an absolute beginner, I would say maybe, you know, you're going to probably want to try it a few times first. So maybe like an hour or two. Uh, for your first one but they're a very very quick stitch um, they're they're quick to make which is something I really like if I could make enough of them I would make them for gifts to give out for Halloween also I mean there's a few reasons why I wouldn't be doing that this year first off I don't think I can make them quick enough to make like hundreds of them but also you know it's probably not a great great year to give out just random things to kids all right so i am on the 
I'm on the little like uh, the ribbing here, this like really little edging. And I really like this part of the pattern because you, you work in the front loops. And so I don't know, it's just cool. You just do a single crochet and then you do a half double crochet into the next and a slip stitch into the same stitch. And then you just repeat that into each one all the way around. It's really, it's so simple. It just makes this really easy thing. So you should go single crochet and then a half double. And then a slip stitch into that same stitch. And it doesn't look like it's gonna work, but it, it will, it'll work. I'm sure of it, probably, probably. You know, I don't think, I don't know if Halloween itself is my favorite holiday. I guess it's just the season in general is my favorite. Chris, mm, yeah, I want to say Christmas is probably my favorite holiday. I don't know. I need to work on a, a new questionnaire on the website. And so I actually, I could use your guys' help for this. So I'm trying to figure out what movie to do at the end of the month for our movie crochet along. And it's kind of, I'm having a hard time picking something because there's just a lot of options. And I need to try to figure figure out one that's available on streaming services so everybody doesn't have to purchase the movie. But at the same time, I want to watch Ghostbusters. <laughs> that's my one I really want to watch. Or, or I want to at least like offer that as an option. But there's no, it's not available on any streaming services. So I don't know, I don't know if that's the best, you know, I don't know if that's the best option or not. But right now I'm thinking of offering the options between um, Nightmare Before Christmas, because I think that would be a really good one. And that's available on like Disney Plus or Halloween Town. I think Halloween Town would be really fun. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that. That's a it's an old Disney Channel movie uh, that I remember from when I was a kid. We could do Hocus Pocus, but that's like one of the scariest movies ever, in my opinion. <laughs> I have like traumatic memories of Hocus Pocus. All right, so now we are on to we can add the eyes, and how we're we gonna make our face today? I think we're gonna make like maybe even a grumpy face, like a. Uh. Ghostbusters, ho oh, Hocus Pocus. Man, Mel Bell, Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus is terrifying. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, I think I'll put the vote on the website this week. So if you if you want to keep a lookout, um, I'll put it on the site. Malia likes Nightmare Before Christmas. It seems like Nightmare Before Christmas is probably going to end up taking it if I put it up there. Let's see, one, two, three. Three, four, five, six. So it's round six, and I think it goes just above one arm. Let's see. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. We want to go one over, like right there. And then the other one. One, two, three, four. Like that. Oh yeah, that's. Oh yeah, that's cute. Oh, we got a cute boy here. Look at how cute this little ghost is. Can uh, Minnow Madden asks, can I sell the stuff you make from your channel? Yes. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me that. I need to put a, more, a better FAQ on the website. But the answer to that is yes. Um, you can sell things made on the channel. The only caveat that I have is that if you do sell things made from my channel, please um, put a link in the in the description that says like pattern from clubcrochet.com. That is the one caveat is that just give credit to the website for the pattern, and then yeah, you can you can sell it. No problemo. No problemo. Actually, if you go on Etsy and you look up crochet triceratops, there are a lot of crochet triceratops on Etsy. 
from my pattern, which is kind of cool. You know, at first, when I first started crocheting, I was like, no, those are my patterns. But as I got, as I got like more and more into it, I just realized it just doesn't matter. It's fine, you know, let people do what they're going to do. Um, okay, what kind of face do we do here? Hmm. Let's, what about if we did like a kissy face? Like a, like a, like, face? Or we could do like a little, like, frowny face. Let's see what Grumpy looks like. And then if we don't like it, we will switch it to a something else. That aren't already. Yeah, I'm think I'm thinking uh I saw someone say Beetlejuice, and I think Beetlejuice would be great. Another great option. I don't know, there's just so many options. Okay, so we could do frowning like this. I don't like him frowning actually. He looks just so sad. Oh, 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 what if we did smiling, but we gave him evil eyes? Like, rah. Like a little, like he's got, he's got an evil plan. Let's try that. Okay, that goes there. Or we can just make him happy. A happy ghost is okay. It's oh good. It's great. Everybody likes a happy ghost. I'm not really into Casper though. I gotta say, Casper and I don't get along very well. He pulled this like really not funny prank at a party once on me, and I was like, dude, not chill. And he he didn't even ever apologize. So everybody says like Casper, the friendly ghost. Well, not always. Sometimes he can be a little bit of a jerk. You know, I think I need half this. I'm gonna try something a little bit different here. Let's undo this. We're gonna thread the yarn instead. Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas is an incredible movie. You know, Nightmare Before Christmas might be perfect too because you don't have to really watch it. I mean, you can, obviously you should watch it because it's an incredible um it's it's all uh stop motion which if you have been a fan of my stuff for a long time you'll know that i'm very much into stop motion um i used to do crocheted stop motion i call them yarn animations a lot but you know i haven't really worked on them very much anymore but nightmare before christmas is all stop motion it's fun to watch but you don't have to watch it because it's got an incredible soundtrack. Oh, that's way better. That's way better. See, what I did there is I threaded the yarn. I, I split it into two ends so that the yarn was a little bit thinner. And it made a little bit nicer of a smile. I like it. I like it. The ghost upside down look kind of looks like a cow. Let me... Oh, like these, like the bobble stitches are ears? Let me see. Let me see. How do you see cow there? Oh, actually, yeah, I see that. I get what you're saying. Like ears, no, those are the eyes, and then like this would be the nose. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. I should do a crocheted cow. I should do like a whole bunch of like farm animal crochet. That'd be fun. Okay, so we got the smile. Let's see. Let's see what he looks like with grumpy eyes. See if we like that. Candy corn. We can totally do candy corn. That's that wouldn't even be that that wouldn't even be that hard. Okay, so we could do. Let's see what a grumpy face looks like on this. If we go over to this one. He just looks like, it <laughs> just looks like that, like, creepy emoji. No, 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 that's not going to work. We'd have to make it like that. You know, 
You know, that would be kind of fun. Why don't you let me know? What do you think? Grumpy? Kind of looks like Lenny. Who's Lenny? Lenny the ghost. I don't know who that is. Let's try... Let's see what Grumpy looks like here. Let's go... Oh, what a grumpy little ghost. <laughs> I like that. Okay, let's let's see if I can get it to look the same on the other side before I double knot it. I like grumpy. All right, people are people are fans. I keep pulling this new So this orange, it's just like this orange sheet that I got. And it's kind of pushing away from me here. I don't know if... I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to make both sides have the same grumpy look. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now wait here. Where did I go? Oh, one up a stick. Oh, so like right here? Let's try that. All right, how do we feel about grump about angry looking bat or ghosty? Sorry about the lighting, by the way. I I was trying to get like the best lighting so that the white didn't like bleed out. See how you can barely. I, it, I really tried. Oh, we got a super chat. Mishi, oh my gosh, thank you, dude. Oh man. Oh, Grumpy's good. Grumpy's good. Uh, piano forte. I'll try it. I'll try it. Grumpy's good. Okay, great. Let's do, um, let's do, let's just go ahead and, let's go ahead and double knot this. Like that. And cut. Throw that to the side. Um, what was I? Evil ghosty, yes. Oh, yes, I need to do a little dance for Mishi, because you're amazing. Mishi, you're incredible. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, Which ghost would you like to do a dance for you? Well, actually, it's just going to be this classic ghost is going to do a dance for you. Boop, boop. This is for Mishi. What do you think of the new setup here? Hello, Mishi. I appreciate you. <laughs> All right. So we got a grumpy little, little angry boy here who looks like he's about to start some stuff. And now we can keep rocking and crocheting. How long have we been going for? We've almost already got one done. Oh, yeah, man. This is a fast pattern. Okay. So you're on... Round 11. It's actually pretty good. Pretty good. We're going to have a haunted apartment building by the end of this live stream. There we go. Yeah, I agree. I think the Oh, I had a second super chat that I missed. What? Oh my gosh, Eric. Eric, I can't believe I missed that super chat. Thank you guys for letting me know. Eric, you rock my all of my socks. Every one of my socks have been rocked because of Eric and Mishi. Eric, check this out. I got this one. This was set up for the, the halftime show. But... I, I'm gonna do this just for Eric. Well, then I gotta finish making them. Uh, uh, this is for Eric. Eric. 
Eric, we love you. <laughs> uh, this spooky noise is kind of, it's kind of fun. It's it's nice, you know. It, but it does it makes me feel like I'm in a theme theme park. I don't know why. It makes me feel like I'm in a theme park. Eric, I P shape you. P shape. I tell Jules that all the time. I say I P shape you. Cause it's like I appreciate, but I don't need to explain it. You get it. You get it. All right. Last round for our our little grumpy ghost. Hey, this ghost needs a name. This ghost needs a name. What kind of name you got here? Any suggestions? Maybe something with a... We can make an alliteration. So we could... Uh, and it doesn't have to be a he, it could be a she. Who, you know, do ghosts have gender? I don't know. Well, I guess so, because Casper's a... Wait, is Casper... I guess their gender is whatever they were before. Or can ghosts change their gender? So many questions. We got Cedric, Lenny. Ooh, I like Lenny. Lenny the ghost, Cedric. Lenny also seems like a grumpy ghost name. S. Brooks, what music are we using? We are using uh, some... Nintendo video game music that is spooky or Halloween themed. So it's songs from Luigi's Mansion and uh, and I think some Pokemon. Maybe I'm not really sure. Go Gilbert the ghost. Oh, dude, Tina, thank you, man. You guys are on a roll. Ooh. Tina, Tina, Momina, Fifi, Fofina, Tina. Thank you, Tina. Let me finish this ghost up. And then we'll get you, let's see, what do you want? Let's see, let's do, maybe you go with a <laughs> Toyota as the name for the ghost. Maybe we could do a mummy dance for Tina. Hello from Denmark. Tina, you're, it, not only did you just support a bunch, but like also uh, it's, crazy late in Denmark right now I'm assuming it's like probably what 1 a.m. <laughs> you're amazing you rock <laughs> okay so we got a ghost little ghosty little grumpy ghosty whose name is Let's see we should have Tina name it or well I don't know because I do like Larry I do like the name Larry the ghost Gilbert the ghost is great. Cedric the ghost. Frederick. Jasper. Jasper is just a, a, uh, a classic ghost name, really. I feel like if your name is Jasper, you're you're made to be a ghost. It's like, it's like you were born to be a ghost. Do you know if next week will be a normal live stream or a movie night? Next week we will be doing a normal live stream. I also might be doing a stitched live next week, which um, if you are not aware, stitched is my tabletop game that you crochet all your pieces for. Um, and I haven't done a live stream of it in a long time. So I'm thinking of setting one up for next week where you can choose which team you support based on which live stream you're watching. That's the idea. That's the idea. And uh, yeah, my friend's coming by next week to play anyhow. So I was like, you know what? Maybe we could do a live stream because he's really good at that. And he enjoys it. Oh, thank you, Mel Bell. Yes, Mel Bell just posted a link in the chat where you can find out more about Stitched if you're interested. It's, it's this game where you just crochet all your pieces. Okay, so we got... <laughs> We got, I can't decide. Oh, I do like, I like, I like Lenny. I, I keep coming back to it and I like Lenny. So whoever suggested Lenny, that's the name. We got Lenny. Lenny the ghost. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of halo over him so you can see the lighting better. We got Lenny the ghost sitting here, all pretty. And I just love the name. I just think it's perfect. You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go like this. Can I attach this? How am I gonna do this, guys? How am I gonna do this? We're gonna try something, though. Okay, come on. Come on. Man, I can't get the needle through. There we go. There. Let's see if I can get it to be hanging. Like that. Is it even hanging in screen? <laughs> This is, this is dumb. <laughs> Let's see, I might be able to get it hanging in here. For the first time ever, the heat from this light box, because whenever I'm doing these live streams, it gets like really hot out. Oh, no, it's not working. I tried, but it didn't work. Okay, let's move on to the next ghost. What do you, what, what ghost do you guys want to see next? Your options are between Boo from Super Mario Brothers, we got Pinky uh, from Pac-Man, or Ghastly, the Pokemon. You choose your decision. Let's see. We oh, Amelia, thank you. Amelia, what ghost do you want to see me crochet next? Amelia, you rock. Pinky, Pinky, Ghastly, Boo, Ghastly. Okay, so we got a. Wow, that's. There's three for Ghastly, two for Pinky. Ghastly, Ghastly. Another Pinky. Colin Crumbly, Pinky. Oh boy. Boo. Oh, okay. It's, Amelia says Boo, and you know what? She was the last super chat. I'm going to give it to her. We're going to do Boo. Let's see. Where's Boo? Let me pull the pattern. There we go. Boo's a great pattern too. I'm I'm really happy with this one. All right. We're going to start with the tongue. Right. I got to make sure that this song cuz the music's going to end soon. Oh no, we still got like half an hour of it. That's good. Hey, if you, um, I don't remember what I was gonna say. We're gonna make Ghastly here. All right, so, I mean, boo. If you wanna get to this pattern really quick, just go to clubcrochet.com slash boo. Slash boo, and you can find it. I promise the apathetic, we will get to Pinky. Pinky will be made, eventually, but Amelia super chatted it, so we're gonna let her make that decision right now. Starting at a third chain from the hook. Okay, so I chain four. Got it. And then I just, ha ha, ha ha. One, two, two. That's pretty good. And then we'll just do that. And we got a tongue. Point. And next we have a tail. Now you don't need to crochet the tail really for Boo here, but it does make it um it does make it kind of uh I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna do it with the crochet tail instead. But I have this other option where you can just crochet the tail as you're going, which I think is pretty cool. It makes it just a little bit easier. Goo is a uh, goo. Boo is a tricky pattern. Uh, and the only reason it's a tricky pattern is because of the color changes in the mouth. One, two, three, four, five. Oh wait, not five. We only need three. So one, two, three. 
because we're making the tail. Hola, Diana. All right. And working back loop only, increase one. Okay. Can do past loop. That's what I always think whenever I'm reading my, my patterns. Because honestly, that's one of the big reasons why I you like I made Club Crochet was because I I need it for myself so that I can remember how to crochet certain things I've made. And whenever I'm doing it, I always think like, okay, past Lou, I, I'll trust you. I'll, tr I'll trust your pattern writing for now. And then sometimes I find something and I'm like, you know what? It'd be better this way instead of the way that I wrote it. And then I do an update <laughs> for the pattern. Crystal, all we've made so far is this fellow right here. His name's Larry. Larry the Grumpy Little Ghost. That's all we've made so far. We're on uh, Boo from Super Mario Brothers now. And again, if you want to get this kit, order it now by just going to clubcrochet.com slash ghost kit. You can find the link in the description below. E, e, there we go. Um, let's see, we got it's single crochet and then an increase. I want to try making one of these boos with um, bulky yarn to make a king boo that's like that big with a little crown on it. Wouldn't that be fun? That'd be fun. I agree. I'm having a hard time getting to that stitch. I'm crocheting really tightly today. It's just one of those days, I guess. Oh, I love this song. I whistle this song all the time. And it's only around Halloween am I allowed to... Um, am I, does it make sense? I always wish that someone would call me out while I'm on the street if I'm whistling Luigi's Mansion song. That they'd be like, hey, are you whistling Luigi's Mansion? I don't know why, but I always am like, oh, I want someone to notice. <laughs> It's silly. Um, show how to read your pattern. Start where it says start here. Is that an extraneous question? Yeah, it says, um, it does say pattern starts here usually. Uh, I, I don't really, I guess I don't really know the questions. <laughs> All right. So we have a little tail. We got our little tongue. And now we're working on the body. I still gotta make this video for how to do the different magic loop methods. Just things keep coming up in the week where I'm like, oh, I could do the video now. No, I can't. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, it's okay. Love, love this yarn asks, what size hook? Um, sorry for the interruption. <laughs> it's all good. It is a G four millimeter crochet hook. And if anybody has any questions like that, don't worry about interrupting. Feel free to ask any questions that you have about what's going on here. I'm happy to help. And now, yeah, I'm crocheting so tightly today. I might want to even use a larger crochet hook just because of how tightly I'm crocheting or just chill out. Just chilling out probably would fix it all. You're very welcome. Oh, Dillara, 
Dillara, I think I'm saying your name right, just said that they're supposed to be watching lectures, but they could not watch this. Dillara, go do your schoolwork. Jeez Louise. But also, it's a Sunday. You're supposed to do schoolwork on a Sunday? Oh, this song sounds like it's from Super Mario 64. Oh man, I have not seen that yet, Marty. Um, I actually do I do not check my messages on Instagram often at all because I'm a, just a, I just don't. There's just so many different messaging places that I always miss Instagram. So, I'll look at it after the live stream. I'll check it out. What do I think of Rikarumi DK? I, honestly, I don't know Rikarumi DK. I should check it out. I should do um. Yeah, I should I should check out a bunch of different yarns and maybe do like a a video where I I review yarns. That might be pretty cool. And I got the increase right here. If you play the week away, you have to pay the piper on Sunday. That sounds like a uh, a very important poem to tell your kids. Oh, that's awesome, Marty. Marty, we were talking about that last week, actually. Someone was asking, do I have a Loch Ness monster pattern? I said, use the Brontosaurus one and just put fins on it. Um, and that's exactly what Marty says he did. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm on rounds four and five here, so that's pretty easy. Okay, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Still an insane amount of people watching. That's so cool. Thank you so much for everybody that's watching the live stream right now. Um, you make me you make me feel very happy. I'm I am sleepy because I took some I took some uh what's that uh 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 allergy medication this morning. I just woke up with allergies. I've been waking up with allergies like every every few days. And I was like, "No, I can't be sneezing on the live stream a bunch." So I took some some anti-allergy meds, and then now I'm like, you know, fighting off the sleepies because of it. It's not that bad though. I've been sleepier. I've been sleepier. I guess I'm just always sleepy. I've been finding that as I grow up, uh, every year I'm sleepier than the last. <laughs> and I don't know if that's just a growing up thing. Or something I'm doing wrong. But it feels like I'm just gonna get sleepier and sleepier. I'm gonna put my legs up. I got this. What a situation. As I grow up, I don't want to be a kid. Yeah, it seems like every year I'm just getting sleepier. Vanessa, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, me too. I'm just always sleepy. Sleepy is a way of life. All right, so we've got our two rounds here done. Dude, um, Amelia, round two, man. Round two? You just didn't think one super chat was enough. You wanted to do it again. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Amelia. You rock. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate you. Okay, so where was I? I am on round 
six. Okay, so it's all still white. I just need to do arms now. Dude, Amelia, you are rocking and rolling here. I appreciate you. Three. Four. Six. And there's eight. Sometimes I wonder how I write these patterns. Because it's like... This is tricky. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just, just tricky. Oh, wait. I do have to do... Okay. One, two, three. And then in the second chamber in the hook, we're going to do slip stitch. I do have to change colors here. Oh wait, it's a slip stitch. And then a half double crochet. There we go. And then it's two single crochets. Dude, this is your first live stream ever? Well, welcome. We do these every Sunday. Make it something different. I'm, I'm still thinking about what to do next Sunday. I'm thinking we're going to do, like, Frankenstein and stuff. Um, but I have a few things I want to finish before that because I'm, like, redoing all those patterns. We'll see. Bob Castle Club, thank you so much for joining. Yeah, my internet's been spotty too. I don't know why. I was I, w I had to like restart it today just to make sure. Cuz I was like, "Oh no. The internet better not go down in the middle of live stream." But luckily we have this really good internet provider here. Their name's Sonic. And they're very good. They they are very helpful whenever you have questions, which is not something that you normally get from internet. 1 2 3 4 5 Switching over. So this yarn, I'm calling it maroon right here that I'm using. It's actually called wine. In the like the label calls it wine colored yarn. And it looks like, you know, wine is kind of a maroon. But I always think of wine as purple for some reason, even though I guess it's mostly red. Oh, that's silly. Sonic the Hedgehog, yes. Sonic the Hedgehog did set up this Wi-Fi very, very fast. And a very talented technician. Okay, and then we got a second arm here. One. Two. Three. Four. Right? Or is it three? It's three. I'm glad you like the music because we are probably going to replay it. <laughs> Just because I don't have any other spooky music downloaded. I guess I could download more though. Just don't want to mess up the internet by accident. Alright, so we got Nether Round Bites the Dust. How long will the live stream be? I'm assuming we're about halfway done. So probably about two hours, maybe three. Probably closer to two though. Because Pinky's actually pretty quick to make. Um, all right, so we are on round. I am on round seven now. If you're following, if you're also trying to make Boo right now. Nice. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. Love this yarn. Thank you very much for, for the nice comment. These ghosts are very fun. I think they're great. This was last year's um, 
Club Crochet Pro kit, actually. So if you're wondering what the kits are normally like, it's kind of like this. Let's see, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That can't be right. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many am I supposed to do? Eleven, so I am supposed to go over it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Where's my maroon yarn? It's on my it's on my lap. One in maroon, and then we switch to pink after that. Okay, so we need a pink yarn. Me, Jackie, how many likes are we trying to get? I mean, if we can get to 200, that'd be great. We have 130 likes so far. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And, and we have over 100 people watching the live stream right now. Hello, everybody. If this is your first live stream, thank you so much for joining. We do these every week, actually. So if you uh, think this is pretty cool and you'd like to see more of them, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon, and then you'll get notified whenever new videos come out. Uh, Stone... Alvarado asks, what weight and size yarn are we using? We are using worsted weight yarn. Um, it's also medium weight is another way to say that. And we are using 100% cotton. I think that the specific brand might be Lily Sugar and Cream because I'm a fan of Lily Sugar and Cream and I usually have a lot of that yarn. But uh, I usually take labels off my stuff pretty quick so I can't be 100% certain but I do know Lily Sugar and Cream is a great brand and yeah that's what we're using today worsted weight cotton yarn that's my main yarn too I I, I usually like using worsted weight cotton because I feel that it I like the cleanness of the stitches we had actually a big conversation about that last week on the live stream um, Mel Bell isn't really a fan of it she, she thinks it's a little of a rough texture on your hands which I can see that I get that I get that um, but yeah that's what we're using today now you have spooky skeletons spooky spooky skeletons running down my spine that song I'm a really good singer everybody says it everybody goes oh wow you're such a good singer Lou Please now, please get out of my house. That's what they always tell me. They say, "Who is this guy? Get out of here, man!" All the time. <laughs> okay, so we are doing round eight. Round eight is easy, squeezy, just the round of all single crochets. Squeezy, easy, beezy, wheezy, beautiful cover girl. I am an amazing singer, right? Yep, 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 yep. You know, okay, so there's some, someone in the chat's name is Janessa, Janessa Armas, and I actually used to date someone named Janessa. And I think you're the only other Janessa I've ever seen that's named that, ever. It's a rare, it's a rare name. Do a veggie series. Oh, so crochet of crochet a bunch of veggies. Maybe I will. Perhaps I shall. One thing. Oh, Marty. Good point. One thing Marty mentions about cotton yarn is that it's machine washable, which is true. And yes, if you use like something like wool, yeah, it's not, it's gonna be, not gonna be as machine washable, that's for sure. Um, oh, I just realized I need to add the teeth before I add the, oh yes, I have this white yarn that I cut, that's perfect. 
So the, the one thing about this pattern is that you do have to embroider on the teeth, which can be kind of a bummer. But it's not that bad. Um, I think I do the teeth first. Yes, okay. So first I sew on the teeth like this. And see these white lines? One, two, three, four, these little, little white lines? That's actually where all the teeth go over. Kind of makes it easier to like tell where you're supposed to put them. That wasn't on purpose, but it is a very good um, like accident. Sometimes things just work out like that when I'm writing patterns. We gotta make sure all this yarn is out of the way so we don't accidentally go around it as we're working in around our piece. There we go. Yeah, I think it's more the drying process that's the problem with wool, because it it like felts the wool, it turns it into like a really thick felt. But I'm not 100% sure about that. You know, that's something I'll have to ask Jules. Jules is very, um, very talented at knowing different kinds of yarn. She used to work at a yarn store for a long time here in San Francisco. And so she's very uh, well versed on different types of yarn and how you're supposed to wash or not wash certain kinds of yarn. That's something I'll have to ask her on the live stream, or I mean on the podcast that we're going to record. But I'm super excited. We've been doing, uh, we've been trying to make a cool background for the live stream and it's, or for the podcast that we're going to record. It's over there. Um, and it's this really cool thing. I'll show you my contribution to the wall um, when we're in the halftime show, which will be after I finish this guy here. But we're making, um, swatch uh what are they called swatch uh a, a wall of wall of swatches that's what it's called so a swatch is it's mostly used for knitting it's also used for crochet um but usually not for amigurumi a swatch is when you make something and then you um you wash it and stretch it out so you can see how big it's going to be um, that way you can figure out your gauge and if you want it, if you need to use like smaller or bigger needles or whatever. Um, yeah, so we decided that it'd be kind of fun to frame the swatches that she's made and then use those as like, as like the background. And it looks so good. I'm really, really excited to show you. Mom! <laughs> Mary Mensinger is my mother, and she just super chatted. Thank you very much, Mom. I love you. I appreciate you. Anybody want to piggyback on that? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. You're great. I can't believe you're watching this. Is, are, is this payment for all the little bats I gave you? When I went down there this week, I gave my mom a bunch of these of my crocheted bats. Feels like that's it. Feel, it feels like that's a little bit of a a payment for those. <laughs> I always bring down a bunch of crocheted things for her whenever I go to visit. I gave her. I actually gave her. Remember how I made the sandcastle the other week for this live stream? I gave her that sandcastle too, so that she could use it for her summer stuff. She puts crocheted things around her part or her house. It's adorable. Do a dance, okay? Fine, I'll do a dance. Let's see. What would my mom want? Who would my mom want to see dance the most? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I know she likes zomb. That zombie. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How about, um, ooh, Fancy Octopus. Fancy Octopus. And this is a perfect song for this. Boom. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Boom. Thank you, Mom. 
<laughs> for the super chat. I appreciate you, mother. Yes, Pigeon Palace. Yes, Pigeon Palace is what... Yes, that's exactly what it was. Yeah, we made... Uh, that's a new pattern, actually, in the Club Crochet Library is for um, a castle. Uh, Stone asks about that. The castle is available... It's actually, if you just go to clubcrochet.com slash castle, you can find it right there. It's a really cool pattern, too, I think. So I think the second eye is going to go right here. I'm going to look at that before we... Okay. Like that. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now here's the trick for these eyes. See, Boo's got this crazy cool eyebrow. So what you do is you take some black yarn. Actually, the split black yarn might be better. Let's try that. Is that going to be long enough, though? Yeah, that'll probably be long enough. But what you do is you come out of one side, right, like above the eye, like right there. I have very specific places for this. <laughs> This might not be enough yarn, but we're going to try. Then you go around the eye and up. Oh, actually, you're supposed to go over it like that. I talk about it in the video better. Oh, we're going to restart the music. One sec. How do I do it? There we go. I just got to restart it because I don't have any other ones ready. So if you guys don't like it, I'll f try to find something new. But yeah, you go around the eye like that, and then you go right in the center, which is like right here. And then we'll come out through the other side. Right here. It might be too far though. Let's look at the finished pictures of our ghosty. No, it's, that is too far. We want it right here. And we do the same thing. No, no, see, that looks too close. Like, it's too close. Maybe it's not. We'll have to trespass a little here. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. And that looks like it might be too far. Actually, that's not too bad. I, th I can move this one too. Let's move this side of the eyebrow over. To like right here. That way it's more in line with the other side. No, nope, that's too small. That's not going to work. Let's keep it where it was. Right here. You know, Bob Castle's got a Bob Castle Club has a great question. He says, "How could someone dislike this right now?" And the answer is, "Hate is gonna hate." Some people, some people just do that, and that's fine. You know. All right. I think we got our eyebrows. We got our eyes. I just need to lock the eyes into place. That aside, we'll just lock these into place. You know, I tried. I tried adding catnip, Marty. I tried adding catnip to one of my crochet things the other day. This eye, this locker does not work. It's too big. That's better. Um, I tried adding catnip the other day to one of the beach balls, and the cats loved it. Uh. But only for a little bit. After that, like, I think it wore off really quick. Or maybe they just got disinterested. You know, they're cats. 
but I think adding a bell, like you're saying, is a great idea. I think the only trick is you need to add the bell, like you need to give something around the bell, um, like uh, like put the bell in a plastic circle or something so that it rings correctly, or else it won't ring right, I don't think. I don't know. It's gonna take some experimentation though. And I'm very excited to hear how it goes, Marty. You'll have to let me know how it how it goes next live stream. All right. Now we just need to add the tongue, which is right here. Using popcorn seeds for your amigurumi. That's not a bad idea. I used to use beans to make um like like uh like uh like black eyed peas or like uh like lima beans for hacky sacks that works too but the problem is you can't let them get wet cuz it gets all weird but not that not that it's very often that your crochet gets wet to be fair but i did bring it to the beach like I brought a hacky sack to the beach that I made with beans and then it got into the water and it was got real gross so I just had to throw it away. Yeah, the eyebrow is a little odd. I, I, I'll agree. I think I needed to put the middle a little higher up. It's not that bad though. I think it'll look better once we stuff it and I'll, and I'll move it around a little bit. Make some last minute adjustment. Let's see how it go. Coffee beans, that's a great idea because then it would smell so good. Yeah, see, you need that you need that part to be up a little bit. So if we take this needle, we go like that. We go like this. And pull that up and push that down. Get it under the eye a little bit more. I think I might be able to fix it a little bit. I mean, it's not bad. It's gonna it's gonna help when it's stuffed a little bit, for sure. Um, do we add? Here's the question. Here's the question. Oh, we do another round first. That's what we do. There's the answer. Yes, in the event of an apocalypse, you always have your amigurumi stuffed with beans to fall back on. <laughs> it's a great, great move. Oh, I'm supposed to do invisible decreases. Whoopsies. Hey, I think I might have mentioned this earlier on for a second, but just to reiterate, um, I've been doing a bunch of new updates to the website, and I'm coming out with a hookup this week to like give you the entire list of all the new things on the website, including all the new kits and all the new patterns and stuff like that. But one thing I did want to mention, uh, do a little extra mention for um, some users, black fuzz everywhere now um, is international crochet kits are actually now available and I and I'm gonna be sending an email about that probably tomorrow but if you want to become a club crochet pro member and you uh, don't have you don't live in America you're not you're an international person which you know is a lot of people before I had uh, that wasn't available because I couldn't figure out how to, I just couldn't figure out how to price the shipping right. But I did make it available. So that's that's new, brand new. If you are an international club crochet member, you can now become a pro member. There's like an extra little sign up fee for paying for shipping. But it's kind of cool. If anybody's interested and hasn't. 
hasn't been able to do a pro membership because they live outside of the US, now you can. All right, so I have everything on but the tail. Yeah, this might be a three hour live stream now. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna add the tail on right here. Oh my gosh, it totally could be a little baby jellyfish. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I just remembered something that I have to add to the hookup. So before I do the monthly hookups, I, I always make like this um, PDF or, or I mean a, a, a document so I can so I don't miss anything that I'm talking about. This might be a little high for a tail. Oh, maybe not actually. And one thing that I have updated or added is I added a Pinterest for Club Crochet and I forgot to add that to the document. Let's see, so we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is great. So I should add that to the to the document. I'm just saying it out loud so I don't forget it later. I can be kind of forgetful. I mean, if you're watching the live stream, you know that. You know that. There we go. All right, almost done with Boo here. Then we'll do our halftime show. I don't have too much to show you this time, this week, but I do have a few things that I think are pretty cool that I like to, to show off in my little show and tell. Yeah, I could totally do a crochet jellyfish pattern. I actually have one written down uh, somewhere in my rough drafts. That I should add. I should just add it to the rough drafts first. All right. So we got one more round here. Frankie, that, okay. So Frankie asks uh, or, or says that he wanted to get a gift card for the website. Oh, I'm sorry. I think Frankie's a she. Frankie asked, uh, said she wanted to get a gift card for the website for Christmas, but doesn't know what type to ask for. That's something I'm actually adding. Um, I'm working on adding very, very soon are, are going to be gift cards for the site. So just for exactly what you're talking about for Christmas gifts. Um, I don't think they're really working perfectly yet, so I need to make sure that they're working right and test it out a bunch. So I'm, I'm working on that though, but those will be out soonish. I'm actually trying to build a, an advent calendar crochet kit so that you can crochet something new for either do like 12 days of Christmas or you can do the 24 days of Christmas and it'll be a giant kit with a bunch of different kinds of yarn and all the patterns will be really small. So they're easy to do in one, one a day, but I thought it'd be kind of fun. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, ba, ba, ga, ba, ba, ga, ba, da. There are just so many things I want to make <clears throat> for the website that I just haven't been able to, haven't been able to get ready yet. I don't know. I think I need to clone myself. I think that's the only answer. I'll just crochet another one of me and I'll do a little bit of, I'll sell my soul to the devil so that I can give life to my crocheted objects. Uh, and then I'll have a little ver a, a crocheted version of me that can, that can write all the patterns and record all the videos or, or he can do all the other things I need. Like he can do my laundry and stuff. That'd be nice. Wouldn't that be great if you had two? That sounds like some people's nightmares, though, to have two two Louis. <laughs> All right, so we got Boo, two down, two to go. 
But in the meantime, before we get started on the next two, I mean, that's pretty good, right? The eyebrow's a little rough right here. I think I should have made it go up a little higher, but I don't, I, you know, it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. It, I'm, I'm nitpicking. I think it's pretty cute. So we'll put him to the side. We got two grumpy, grumpy ghouls here ready to fight. Uh, and in the meantime, let's do, let's do the halftime show. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I'm not, no bluey today because my back hurts and I don't want to bring them out. But there is a puppet over there that we normally use. I'm just too lazy today. <laughs> That's why I'm working on a new puppet. But today, I want to show you some new things that I've been working on. No, there's not too much. Um, we can start with one that you've already kind of seen. I've been making more of these little bats. Um, the pattern is almost available. Uh, it should be ready like next, like uh, on uh, tomorrow because the kits are going out tomorrow. But this are, these are the new pro kits. Uh, and what's great about them is that um, the pro kits actually come with all the magnets because there are magnets on the inside so that you can make them as a hanging bat so they hang upside down. See? You can put them on. I like putting them on um, on curtain rods. There's a curtain rod up there with one on it. Uh, and what's also great about them is that their, their wings actually fold. There's pipe cleaners built in so that they can be like a sleeping bat, an upside down sleeping bat too. Yeah. So... That's pretty cool. Um, the kits come with all the yarn to make a purple one and a gray one. So those are going out uh, tomorrow. And second thing, uh, this this one, he's not completely finished yet, but he's so close to being finished. Um, I've been making him this week. So here's what happened. I, had, I got some new green yarn from uh, Joann's and I really liked it and I wanted to make an ogre out of this, but I spilled coffee all over the yarn. So I had to clean the yarn a bunch. And then I realized, okay, what should I make with it? Let's make an ogre. And I decided that I want him to be a coffee snob. So this is Sven. Sven the coffee snob. He's supposed to look like a hipster. He's got his cool little man bun there and his nice little beard. I gave him some vintage glasses made out of uh, some wire. And he's got some black suspenders here. He still needs his coffee cup, so I'm working on that. But he's my new little coffee friend. And see, he can even, he sits up on his own. And I love his little pants and his buttons. I'm very, very proud of Sven. And I even gave him some, some wrinkles on his forehead. I don't know why, I just thought it looked cute to do wrinkles on the forehead. I wanted to try it out. He can sit really well on like the edge of things. I just, I'm just really happy with him. And I can actually like pull his feet up and I think he can stand on his own too. Let's try it. Just need to balance it right. Come on, Sven. Show him what you can do. Da da da, he can stand. I mean, he's really leaning. He's, he's a leaner, but sometimes he could stand. I don't know. I like Sven a lot. Let's just keep him sitting. We'll keep him on screen during the rest of the live stream. He can judge us and make snide comments about how we're not using pour over coffee and that's gonna be a real problem. It'd be a lot better if it was pour over. That's what Sven thinks. He, he really likes cold brew. <laughs> um, okay, so that's Sven. Let's see, what else? Oh, oh, this. I kind of showed it a little bit earlier, but I've been working on different kinds of heads for these pigeons, uh, this pigeon pattern. Now the pigeon pattern is not available yet, but it is coming out soon. And, and a lot of people here on the live stream have seen the other pigeons. Let's see, where's, where's another pigeon? So I can just show you what the normal ones look like. Did it fall? Where is it? Well. Looks like I dropped one somewhere. Oh, here it is. So this is what the pigeons are. Um, I'm really proud of this. So this is a new pattern coming out. I think this is gonna be November's crochet kit. Uh, it probably won't be a pigeon, it'll probably be a turkey. 
Uh, and you'll have the option to like change it to a pigeon if you'd rather have a pigeon instead of a turkey. But uh, the pigeons are great. And here's what's great about them. A couple things. First off, uh, this one doesn't have it available, but I do have it so that they can poop. Um, <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, oh, here. This one poops. Check it out. Hold on. See, look. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I know I've shown this the past three live streams. I just love it so much. Um, what's also cool is they have magnets in their butts so that you can, just like the bats, you can put them on um, anything with anything that's metal, holds them on, which I think is pretty great. Uh, but also what's great about these pigeons is that uh, you thought they were pigeons and look, they can, their heads can turn. The reason their heads can turn is because they're not actually pigeons. They've been little burbs all along. So I'm working on a few different heads for that. And so here I have a little parrot head. Uh, I don't think I like the ribbing here. This is like a test to see if I could do like a little fatter of a neck. I don't think I like it though. But you can see he's also, he's got a pigeon with like a really big forehead on under him. So I'm working on different heads. Here's the turkey, which I think I also showed last week, but it's worth showing again. Turkey patterns. They, these are these are all coming out soon, and he's also got a little fake burb under him. They're they're not really what they're what they look like, and I think that's hilarious. So we'll put these guys to the side too, in the back, just like that. And then the last thing that I would like to show you is something new that I've been working on. And I was telling you about it a little earlier about the um, the swatches, the wall of swatches, which you'll see during the podcast that's coming out soon. Um, but, uh, I'm working on my own thing for the wall of swatches so that I have some background art as well. And I think this is a really cool way to show off your crochet. It's like a new thing that I'm working on where I frame a backdrop. Now it's kind of hard to see because of the, because of the way that the lighting is. I'll just put it down like this, but this is all half double crochet stitches here. It's God, it's just, it's just kind of hard. It's kind of hard to see it. Where's my phone? Let me do a flip. Let's see if, if I turn the flashlight on my phone, if it'll look a little bit better. Does it? Can you see it? Nah. Nah, you can't see it very well, but that's okay. You get the gist. Um, so it's all half double crochet stitches in the back here and just all in black. And I have these little miniature crocheted stars. I'm working on a new pattern for them. So this will come out soon too, but they're very, very tiny. And so I'm going to sew a bunch of stars to it like all over it, probably only like six stars. And then I'm gonna have a needle sticking straight out of the middle and I'm gonna have this rocket sticking out like that. So it'll be like a three dimensional art piece that'll go on the wall. And then I also have this little tiny crocheted planet earth that I'm gonna have right here sticking out slightly too. So I think it's a fun way to do some like three dimensional art with my crochet to let it, um, kind of be featured a little bit better. I've done some stuff with frames in the past, but never like wall art. I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. Uh, let me know what you think. So those are what I've been working on this week. I hope you guys like them. Uh, I should have a lot more to show next week because I am doing um, some, some, uh, ugh, some new patterns for Halloween. Uh, a lot of people are saying I need that pattern. Which pattern are you talking about specifically? Uh, I promise all these patterns are going to be out soon. But, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. Okay, so let's do Ghastly next. Look how perfect this little ball of black yarn is. Oh, again, the lighting is weird, so you can't really see it right. But... It's a very good, it's a very nice little ball of yarn. Oh, here, this pink one's pretty close. It's just so perfect. I got a new ball winder. Um, it's a 3D printing, but the, the burbs, yes. The burbs are coming soon. Pigeons and burbs coming soon. Coming soon. Keep a lookout. Okay. So we're going to start with our black yarn here. And we're going to do a ghastly. And before we do that, we're going to drink some coffee. 
because I have one more sip. All right. Is the earth pattern available? Yes, you can find that by just going to clubcrochet.com slash earth. Pretty much all my patterns have that really quick short code. But if you want to look up any patterns, just go to clubcrochet.com slash browse and you can find them. Find the patterns there. There, thank you, Mel Bell. You're so fast, so good, so talented. Okay. Oh, we gotta start with the eyes, I forgot. Where's the white yarn? Okay. Ghastly, huh? We got a little ghastly. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need some more coffee after this just because I'm addicted. I'm addicted to coffee. Okay, so we got three, one, two, and three. And then I pull the magic loop tight and I turn it. I'll chain one. This is another pattern that I just, it's so, it's so simple. But we get to use needle felting. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. All right. We got the little eye. These are eyes. See? You make basically like half circles. And then we'll just add some... Some uh, black irises. And we don't need it to be too long. But that's probably fine. And I think I'm supposed to just pull it straight through and then hide it in like that. And then just hide the end in. And then I could just hide this in like that. How's that look? Yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for. See, so it's just, there's a little angry eye and then we'll do one on the other side. What's my favorite coffee? I love, uh, first off, I take after my grandma a lot. My grandma was um, very into coffee, but really just into sugar and milk. So <laughs> I, I have a lot of sugar and milk in my coffee, um, but I like French vanilla. That's my favorite. Poisonally. I am not sensitive to caffeine personally. I am, uh, I, I could, I could probably drink like three, four cups of coffee. I mean, you could tell, you would tell if I drank that much coffee, but it would be, um, I, I'd survive. In fact, I'd probably have a good day, very productive day. And then the next day I would crash really hard. It's kind of crazy that coffee is so like socially acceptable because it is, you know, it's a drug. <laughs> It's not, it's probably not good for you. I mean, well, we know it's not good for you. Not good for kids. At least. Hey guys, we got 162 likes. That's pretty great. That's pretty great. But if you like this video, you should give it a like if you haven't already. And let's see if we get 200. That's the goal. Going for the, going for that solid 200. Okay, so we got our eyes. We'll put these to the side. We'll come back to it. And we'll start on the body. The body's great, because it's just black crocheted stitches the whole time. It's really simple. There's a little bit of tricks when it comes to the mouth, but for the most part, 
It's pretty easy. Oh yeah, I used to be really into Red Bull uh, when I was in high school. When I was a, a goofball in high school. But now, ugh, Red Bull is like acid to me. It messes me up. My dad really likes drinking monsters. Just measure the cream and sugar. Yeah, that's exactly right. One time I was driving through a, a McDonald's with my brother and they were like, how much cream and sugar do you want? I was like, uh, I, I don't know, measure it. That's what I said, I don't know, measure it. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Because they'll say like two creams, one sugar. How much is a one cream? That's not like, there's, that's not a, that's not a measurement. I don't know. Hey, you're watching the Adams Family movie. The new one or the old one? I haven't seen the new one. I like the old one. My cousin Sarah would always do a very good cousin it. She'd just put her hair, when her hair was really, really long, she'd put it on her face and be cousin it. It was perfect. <laughs> Divide. Don't mix coffee and Red Bull. You will hear color. That is accurate. One cream is an ounce. Okay, look at that. You learned something new today. Then I'll take 16 creams and then two creams of coffee. <laughs> I'm flying here, guys. Oh, see, nope, see, I'm flying too fast. Too close to the sun. Going too quick. You probably can't even see the stitches here. Yep, the, it's like I'm crocheting a black hole right now. Just a black hole that's slowly getting bigger because the lighting is so weird. I've tried to fix it. I tried to make it right, but it just looks so strange. Sixteen creams is a whole cup of milk. Yum. D and D maps. Hello, nice new thumbnail. Your your picture finally I can see it. You got it looks like a Lego uh, Star Wars guy. Looks great. It's been just like a blank picture for so long. <laughs> this cute ogre. This would be Sven. This is Sven. Our um. He is a coffee snob. He was part of the um, this week's uh, show and tell. Uh, you're crocheting an Among Us character. You know, I've seen a lot of patterns for Among Us characters this week. I haven't. I tried playing Among Us with my brother last week, uh, and it just gave me a bunch of anxiety. I just. I don't know, maybe I was just in the wrong mindset, but I got so much anxiety trying to trying to make that or trying to play that game. Cause I became the the imposter and I was like, what do I do? What do I do? Until it was like, just kill people. And I was like, but they'll know it's me and I don't know how. It's a that game gives me that game is scary. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it is fun. It is very fun. That's just Sven judging you. He's like, look at him looking right in your eyes. He's looking into your soul. Here, we'll have him looking straight at me. He's like, he's like, will you stop looking at the camera? <laughs> oh yes, I would. I will like. 
Yeah, Jaeger bombs are garbage and no one should ever drink them. They are no fun. Um, okay, it looks like we only, we're, we're almost, like, this black hole is getting larger. <laughs> Here we go. Right there. Okay. Vanessa, yes, there's pigeons. Have you not seen these pigeons, Vanessa? Look at this. They're so cute. They're so cute, except they're not pigeons. You think they're pigeons. You thought all along they were pigeons, but they're not. They're burbs with a little pigeon mask. He needs to hide his secret. Those are from the, the this is the, the halftime show. <laughs> And we are on round six. Six sequels. And then we do color changes. One. Two. Yeah. Four. And there's six. So I'm just looking at this. Pattern. I just want to see it straight on here. Oh, I see. I see what I did. Okay. So first we need our white yarn. And we'll go... We got one that's half white. So we pull through with white. I did my six, right? I should use the stitch marker. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we do one that's half white, half black. And then we need our pink yarn. And we need three like this. And I'm actually gonna just leave the white yarn here and have a big bit of it. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because we need to sew on each end. Who am I talking to? Myself. Always myself. Okay. When is the next movie night? Danielle asks. Uh, that's a great question. The next movie li night is going to be at the end of the month, the last Saturday of the month. We're going to be doing a live stream movie night. And the movie is still to be decided by you. Um, I'm going to put the vote on the website on clubcrochet.com when you're logged in this week. I'll probably after this live stream, honestly. And I'm trying to decide what movies to do. I'm basically deciding between Nightmare Before Christmas. I, I kind of want to do Ghostbusters, but I kind of don't because there's no Ghostbusters is not available on any streaming sites. And that's kind of like, you know, a bummer. Oh, I didn't mean to cut that so short. Oh, well. Well, I did it already. So, oopsies. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the idea is we're going to do something. Or we might... I want to do Shaun of the Dead really bad, but I feel like it just doesn't fit the stream. It just doesn't fit. Because you have to watch it so adamantly. It's just doing a zombie would be fun, you know? Oh, that is Halloween night. Never mind. Maybe we won't be doing it that night. Maybe we'll do it last Friday of the night. Like, last Friday. Because I forgot that's Halloween. <laughs> we don't want to do Halloween. Well, maybe we do. I don't know. Yes, we can bring a special guest. Do you want to see a special guest? Special, special guest. guest. Bye. 
Jimbo the cat. Here we go. Oh. He demands attention at the moment. Yes. And I thought that the internet could give him the attention that he wants. Hello, buddy. And deserves. <laughs> Hello, Jimbo. He's so happy. Want to say hi to the chat? <laughs> hey, you want to see? Oh my god, he's going to destroy your light box. <laughs> I'll take him back. Giant cat. Thank you. So long. Farewell. Oh, I had a question for you. Yeah. Do you think the last live stream of the month should be on a uh, on Friday instead of Saturday? Because Saturday is Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. She agrees. Hi she bye. agrees. Hi bye. Everybody saying hi. <laughs> Oh, I love that cat. Oh, I love Jimbo, but look now, I I don't know if you can see it, but there is definitely fur in this light box now. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh, you, you could hear him purring. Yeah, he is a very loud purr. We call him motorboat motorboat Jim sometimes. Um, okay, so we do seven. Aha. Yeah, so that's there. And then one, two, three, four, pink. Isn't he just the cutest cat in the world? He's so cute. Oh, gee whiz. He's just the cutest. One. Wow, Dad, you're still watching the live stream. I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So I don't know about you guys, where what it's like near you guys, but here it is so cold today. It's like just freezing. We woke up and we we're like, ah, oh, I don't want to get up yet. It's too cold. And I don't want to turn the heater on because I think if, I think our like air ventilator. It's got a bunch of dust in it. It makes me sneeze every time we turn the heater on. That's probably why I'm so sneezy, actually. Alright, so we got Gasly's little, little mouth. We need to add the teeth, obviously. But you have to embroider on the teeth. It's the only way to get them to look right. And yes, we are making Gasly. If you want to find this pattern, uh, you can find it really easily by just going to clubcrochet.com slash Gasly. Or you can go to the, the pattern that's on screen now right there slash ghosts. It'll take you to all of these patterns. Um, okay, so we did that one. Now we just need to do a single crochet in each stitch. Originally, I tried crocheting the um, the ectoplasm outside of Ghastly here, but it just didn't come out right, and it was just really difficult to explain. So that's when I was like, you know what? Let's do something different and kind of fun. I've been trying to do more patterns with, you know, unique little bits of it. I think that's what's the most fun part of the kits is to have something unique in all the kits. Uh, and in this kit... It, the unique part is the needle felt, which is this stuff, this purple needle felt, which we're going to be adding to the top of him to give him like uh, um, his, his like purple ectoplasm. This is probably more than I need. You can probably make two gases with that. And that should be the end of this round. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to do another decreases first before I add on stuff. Okay. Okay, can do, past Lou. Can do. I used to have a saying that I would say where I go, um, uh, I've got a lot of things to do, but I can let past Lou take care of it. I mean, future Lou take care of it. Future Lou... He never lets me down. It's past Lou. That's the screw up. That always messes up. <laughs> past Lou. 
sleeping in and not doing any work. But Future Lou is perfect. He never messes up. Because he's in my head. <laughs> I gotta pay attention to these invisible decreases here. How's Ghastly looking? Man, it's kind of creepy how you can't see any of the stitches. Except for the mouth. He looks like a real ghost. If you don't know what Ghastly is, by the way, he's a ghost Pokemon. I don't know who doesn't know who Ghastly is, but that's who he is. Oh man, only 19 more likes to get to, get to 200. If anybody hasn't liked yet, please like this video. It helps it get seen by other people that aren't a part of the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Okay, so we have got most of our runs done. Now we just need to add our eyes. Dude, Kim, thank you. Kim, let's get Boo to do a little dance for Kim. He's perfectly made for the... This, You know, ghosts dance very strangely, you know? They dance very, like... I feel like they dance like this. You know how I feel like that? Because I went to the Haunted Mansion. I've gone to the Haunted Mansion a bunch of times and they always dance like, they do like, they're like basically ballroom dancing. Thanks, Kim. Ew, what a creepy boo licking the screen. Not cool, dude, not cool. <laughs> All right, so we need to add um, eyes and add that. Yes, okay. So the first thing is adding the eyes. That's that's easy enough. We just need to make sure that they are in the right position. And then add black iris. Irises. Irises? Iris could be a cute name. Like for, like a... I don't know. It's just a cute name. Iris. I guess it kind of sounds like an old lady name. Oh, that's not where we wanted it. We want it right, right down here. But still, it's kind of cute. Iris. Maybe old lady names are coming back into style. That's my opinion. The trick for adding these eyes is they have to be in like the same angle. Like this. And we have to sew it on correctly so that the outside of the eye is sticking out kind of from the wire, from the, from the ball. Whoa, is that true? Iris is the name of the Greek goddess of rainbows? That's, what a fact. I love that. I had no idea. I wonder if Jules knows that. Jules is a really big fan of Greek gods. She might, she might have known that one. We're gonna use this white yarn to add the teeth. So that way we don't have to add more white yarn on the inside later. There we go. That's pretty good. We just need to add the little iris. Whoa, Gabriella! Thank you so much, Gabriella. You rock. As always, Gabriella coming in hot. Move this back a little bit. Gabriella's 
you know what I love about Gabriel's uh, support is that whenever she supports, um, the the currency from where Gabriella is is such that it it's two hundred, and it looks great. <laughs> it looks like wow, wow, wee wow. Thank you so much, Gabriella. You are amazing. You are incredible. Let's see. What do you want to dance for you? Let's see. Gabriella, what did you da what dance did you get last time? I think it was the mummy, right? Maybe it was a witch. Let's do a witch. Oh, d Jazzy, does the pigeon have the same secret as the turkey? Yes, it does. What's going on here? Huh? Oh, hey there. Wow, that purple looks bright blue in this lighting here. That's weird. Thank you, Gabriella. <laughs> You're amazing. What is a witch dance like? Probably like she does like a like a um what's the word for that um like she probably vogues it's kind of hard to move their arms so dude Gabriella you are incredible you're so um just awesome thank you so much you have finished twenty eight of the patterns that's amazing I think there's how many patterns does the site have now? I think we're encroaching 100. We might have more. Since, you know, because we're putting a new one up like every... Well, really, it's like every other week. Sometimes even quicker. There's just so many now. Oh, wait, that's not where we want it. That's a mess up. We want, let's put it down through this one. Oh, to crump. That's what witches do. They crump. I don't really know what a crump looks like. Dude, oh my god. Gabrielle, you'll be the first one to finish every club crochet pattern. That is a great, that's a great goal to have. Let's do, I think we need to do this corner like this. And then so on from there. And then this one needs to be hidden in a little bit better too. This song's so nice for a spooky Halloween song. Look up Marge Simpson's crumping. I'm gonna ruin my Google search history Marty <laughs> good old Marty ruining lose search history all right so we gotta figure out where the perfect placement for this is it's like this. Let's see. Yeah, that's not bad. Just come up and so on from no, and then I'm gonna do one of these, and then no, let's go like right there somewhere. that vintage ghost is perfect oh my gosh glasses oh man glasses would have been fun for that ghost maybe we can give pinky some glasses that's all we'll have left is pinky after this I think it just goes straight like right there. 
Okay. Now we need to use this white yarn to give them teeth. And then we just need to do the eyes, like the iris of the eyes, and then uh, and then we can needle felt. Oh, actually, we need to finish crocheting them, which is we just have a little bit more to finish the crochet. But then we can add the needle felt, and that's really fun because it's unique. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea, dog lover. Make a bunch of these ghosts and then put them on a streamer. Put them, yes, I love that idea. That's a really good idea. Okay, so we just need to add black iris. Luckily I have some extra black yarn here. So I don't have to cut the yarn, That's because that would be rough. And what's great about, or what's, what's easy about this iris is that all you need to do is you just need to do like one line. Um, you can double it up, but it's like really not not too tricky. So it's just like boop, and then you just go down, boop, because he's kind of got like a little, little bit of like, like a snake eye kind of thing going on, or cat eye, or snat. S what, what is a s snake and a snat? A snat eye, the snake and a cat eye, or a cake. <laughs> Got a cake eye. That's a mix between a cat and a snake eye. Just like that, see? Perfect. Perfect. So easy, so simple. Simple as a pimple dimple. Simple as a pimple's dimple. That's a new saying. Copyright Club Crochet. Second eye goes that. Then maybe like right here. Yeah, that's perfect, I think. Let's find out. Pretty sure it's gonna be good though. Just like that. Yep, that's ghastly for you. Now we just need to add, now we just need to finish crocheting them. I guess I could have doubled up the eyes, but I think it's pretty good like that. Especially because when I double knot it on the inside, they'll become a little bit smaller. Okay. Cut here. Throw that to the side. Let's get our ghosts a little bit in front so people don't think that we made all these things. We only made the ghosts. One, two. And yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good. Okay, let's keep going. I appreciate you. Okay, now we just need to crochet this closed. And I think I'm gonna be doing sharp decreases for this last round. Let's make sure though. Oh yeah, and stuff it, we need to stuff it a little bit. That's why we follow written instructions, is because it tells us what to do. Is that the end of our soundtrack again? Oh no, we got more. Two. What are you guys crocheting? I should have asked that a lot sooner. I know some people are crocheting Boo and, and Ghastly and stuff, and that's awesome. Let's see. How many people are crocheting? 
or crocheting ghosts here or, or something haunted. Are right, you guys crocheting something cute? I guess that's I'm kind of doing a little bit of both. Have I thought about making Haunter? Yes, I have. Especially thought about making Gengar. Um, Haunter's kind of tricky though. He's got all these like weird spikes and stuff, so it's kind of hard to um, figure it out. Tassilarians crocheting a group of ghosts. Mel Bell's working on the temp blanket, but he's not. Oh my gosh. That blanket is never going to be finished, Mel Bell. <laughs> Ooh, Zoe's making a scoop, spooky skull. Are you making the skull with the skull pattern? That is a crazy difficult pattern. I had to remake that the other day because someone ordered a skull on my from my Etsy. And I was like, oh boy, here we go. And I had to relearn how to crochet it. And dang, that pattern's so tricky. I love it, though. I was thinking about remaking that pattern with the color chart, like that new color chart thing that I'm working on, because I think it'd be a little bit easier to make. So I'm probably going to give that a shot soon and see how it goes. Okay. Gasly's almost finished here. Just need to fix that a little bit. This tooth is looking a little weird. Oh, dude, Lauren! Thank you so much, Lauren. Lauren Simmons, super chat. And I appreciate that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me sew this closed. I'll do a little dance for you. Any preference, Lauren? This is great, too, because we just had to order a bunch of yarn for crochet kits this week. So, super chats go a long way right now. <laughs> we really could use them. This will go through the back like that. Yeah, because I needed to stock up for the monthly crochet kit. There we go. My parents always love seeing a super chat. They're they're the biggest fans of those. I mean, of course I love them. <laughs> I think they're awesome. My parents love them too, though. I think it's fun to see them always like, oh, hey, it's another super chat. Okay, so we're just gonna need to add the purple. But before we do that, let's see, let's see what we got. What we got for? How about a pink dinosaur? This is for Lauren. Hold on, I need to give him his little. Thing so I could hold them better. Thank you, Lauren. You're so great. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lauren is amazing. Yes, he is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, pigeons. Oh, no. I got to get out of here. She wanted pigeons. Oh, what a goof. I should have waited. Okay. Here. Um. Let's do, let's take this pigeon. Even though it's not a pigeon, it's a parrot. Let's take that parrot, switch its head. We'll give it a pigeon head. And this pigeon is just like too cool for school, but still gonna dance for you. This pigeon should, oh my God, I should make a pigeon with glasses. I'm such a fool. Da, da, da. Hey, Lauren. Thank you. <laughs> so dumb. Lauren, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. All right, let's do the best part about this ghastly here. We take a little bit of this purple yarn. We take this ugh, needle. Now the crochet kits actually come with these. They're they're called needle felting tools or whatever. I don't know what they're called, but basically you take this this here and we're gonna place it on his head like that, right? And then you just take this and you just 
You gotta be careful because you don't want to accidentally poke your hand. But all you have to do is you just keep poking this into your amigurumi, and it adds it adds it onto it. It just like attaches it to it. It's actually a little far in there, so let's try to fix that a little bit. Because you don't want it to be... Yeah, that's pretty good. You just gotta be really careful, because it is a really sharp needle. So you don't want to accidentally poke your own hand with it. But it's got these little like variegated edges on the needle so that it grabs onto the wool and it pokes it into the pieces. Seriously though, you gotta be really careful. I have poked my hand a few times with it. Not yet, not during this live stream, but I have done it. It, it does not feel good. It feels very bad. Oh my gosh, I'm off screen. <laughs> and I like to do like kind of a spin while I'm doing this. So you can kind of see how I'm like, it's kind of got this little bit of a spin to it. Because Gasly's ectoplasm thing has a little bit of a spin to it in his, in his sprite on from Pokemon. So I'm trying to do something a little bit similar. You don't need it too pokey in it, but you don't want to leave them loose at all. You see, he's like stuck in there now. He needs more though. Good thing we got extra. Oh yeah, he, he was a bad ghost. He he deserves being poked a bunch. <laughs> he looks a little bald, so let's give him a little bit more. Because we want to go on... Let's see. Let's go more like... That's about half of that. Let's go like up here. I'm going to go ahead and twist it so he's got like a little bit of a... can go on the front like that. Yeah, I think like that. And all it's doing is just taking the some of the little threads from this felt and it's poking it into the piece. You see, see it's got this little, I don't know if you can see, you see these little dots on that needle right there? They're like little edges so it grips onto the, the felt. And it just grips it just enough to stick it, shove it through the holes that you're poking into. And sticks it on the inside of the piece. And it holds it into place. It holds it really well too. I mean, I wouldn't wash this because you'd probably lose a lot of felt if you washed it, but it does do hold it on pretty tight. I might've poked in a little too much there actually. He's gonna have this like silly little like back to school haircut. We'll go like that. Is felting always made from wool? I think they're, ooh, I don't know if there's a vegan alternative. I mean, I don't think there's any, um, I don't think taking wool from sheeps is really that bad, but I don't know. I don't know if there's an alternative. I mean, there might be like a plastic alternative, but that's that's probably not good too. 
I gotta be careful. I might poke all the way through to get to my hand. Uh oh, I think our music ended again. I'll have to restart it one more time for our last crochet bit. Because all we gotta make now is pinky. Can you hear it? Can you hear me poking through it? I don't know if it's coming through on the mic. It's kind of loud, actually, from my point of view. Okay, let's see what we got here. <laughs> I love this little, I love this little swoop here. He's like a fancy, he's like a fancy ghastly. Oh, hello. My name is Ghastly, of course. All right, let's do it again. Play the soundtrack again. Okay, I just need I just want to add a little bit more on the bottom here. Like just like that. So I just hold it into place. And you can actually use this method to add um like whites for eyes and stuff. I'm trying not to look away too much to what I'm doing so I don't accidentally poke my hand. So there might be a lot going on in the chat right now. I just can't see it. I'm sorry. I just don't want to accidentally stab myself. Because that wouldn't be fun for anybody. Well, maybe the, the few people that dislike the video. <laughs> I want it to be attached, just but have just a little bit of an end like that. And it doesn't look like it's doing anything from the point of view, but it really is. It's sticking right in there. Just taking just little edges in. gonna like kind of like pull it a little bit out there this bit will be like that kind of like go around it like so I'm gonna cut just a little bit off of that and then I want this end to do something similar yes uh, yes Gasly. That's probably not how he talks. There we go, though. Look at all the purple. Let's try to get it all off here. Okay. Is felting needle expensive? Um, it. I mean, it can be because you need to buy like. Usually, when you buy it, it comes in like huge packs of it. Um, when you, especially, it's, it's a bummer when all you need is like this much. Okay, last one. We got little Pinky. Little Pinky. And Pinky's really easy to crochet. The only tricks are you need to use some fancy color changes. But other than the fancy color changes, it's actually an, ex an extremely easy pattern. Let's put this needle away because we don't need it anymore anyhow. Put it to the side. Three ghosts down, one to go. Yeah, if you'd, if you'd rather, instead of getting needle felt in like a bunch of different colors and stuff, if you just want one specific color, you should get the crochet kit for these. Um, it's just at clubcrochet.com slash ghost kits, or ghost kit. And it comes with all the, 
all of the different kinds of yarn, all of the eyes that you need. Um, plus it comes with this purple needle felt and a, an actual needle. It actually comes with the needle itself so that you can make it. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, we've had so many viewers this whole time. Oh my gosh, guys, we're at 194 likes. Only six more to reach our goal. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's awesome, though. This, this, this is incredible. Like, you guys are amazing. All right, we need, we need to, I need to record a million patterns next week as a thank you. Because <laughs> I, I'm thinking, I want to come out with a pumpkin pattern, a witch hat pattern. I don't know, I've got a million patterns that I want to come out with this month. But I need to work quick because it's like, yeah. Because if you're going to make Halloween decorations, you're going to make them right now, you know? Louis, what's my favorite pattern that I've ever done? I think my favorite pattern so far is the um, the T-Rex pattern. I think that pattern is so, uh, it's just very well designed where every little part of the pattern, every single stitch has, I've thought about very, very well. So it's, it's just very um, succinct, I suppose is the word. Have I ever made a gremlin? I have actually. I have crocheted a gremlin. Um, I think the easiest way to see a picture of my the gremlin that I crocheted is just by going to um, my my Louis Loops Instagram page. So if you go to Instagram, um, it's at Louis Loops. There's a picture of a gremlin that I crocheted. It's actually I think it's a 3D picture, so it's like one of those pictures that it, it shows every side of it. It's really cool. I think it I think it was one uh it's a it's a really good pattern. Thanks so much, Kaima. Kaima? Kaima Green. Thanks so much. <laughs> I'm excited to see uh I I can't wait to see what else I make too. It seems like um I don't know. I I consider uh the the thing inside me that creates stuff. I, I call I call her my creative muse. And sometimes she just comes out at the most random times. She's like, like, like this month is a great example where in, in the middle of the night, I think it was like at 1 a.m. a week, a week before October, I had a plan for these to do the kits. We're going to be all these like um, little uh, Frankensteins and stuff. And then and she was like, what if you did a hanging bat? In the middle of the night. I'm like, oh, that's a genius idea. Dang it, I have to do it now. And then I did. Um, okay, so we have five single crochets. One, I gotta work quick, I gotta go bathroom. I drank too much coffee too fast. Okay, now we need our white yarn. We're almost done though. Do I post pattern photos on Instagram? I do. Well, no, I don't post the pattern itself, but I, I do post. Oh, cool. I have 76 patterns on Club Crochet. Wow. Wow. We should celebrate. Whenever I get to the 100th, we should do a celebration. I believe it's just one here. Yes. What's cool about this pinky pattern? I, I think this just these patterns in general. I, I do a lot of different techniques in this uh, kit. And I think what's really cool about the pinky one is that we do, for the eyes, we actually do color changes for the eyes. And it's this technique that I call the crocheted spots. I think it's just pretty cool. I think it's just pretty neat.
Oh my gosh, we passed 200! Thank you guys so much! Wow. That's great. This is awesome. Very cool. Okay. Thank you so much, Sunshine. I've learned a lot from you guys as well. I swear I learn something new every time I do one of these live streams. And you guys give me the opportunity to just experiment and come up with new crocheted stuff all the time. And I just, I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. You're all awesome. Do, did I make these patterns? Yes, I did. I make all the patterns, almost all the patterns on the site. Um, every now and then we do a collaboration pattern where I, I'm, I work with another Amy Groomy artist. But for the most part, all the patterns on the website are designed by me. I do all the videos for them and PDFs. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's try this again here. One, and then two. Yeah, and the pinky pattern is actually really close to the ghost pattern. But you have to do all these fancy color changes in it, which I think are really fun. One, and two in pink, two, yep, and then two more in white. Whoa, you've made 25 tw chubby tubby people. I'm guessing those are like the, the, oh yes, no, I remember. We talked last week about the chubby tubby people. I like that. I like the name that you have from chubby tubby people. Put that to side. Keep going. All right, next we have three. One single crochet. Okay, that's easy. Uh, look how cute this tiny ball of yarn is. It's so cute. I love that new ball winder edition. So basically what I did was um, I worked with a 3D printer uh, who helps me do th designs for 3D prints. And I reached out to him and I was like, hey, I have this ball winder, but it'd be really cool if the winder thing was a little smaller so I could make tiny itty bitty balls of yarn. He said, yeah, sure, I can figure that out. He did, he killed it. Um, it, it was perfect, first try. Uh, I can't remember his YouTube channel's name right off the top of my head, but he does have a YouTube channel where he does 3D printing. He really he really came through. Um, Kalen, how do I do that so fast? Uh, well, step one is really needing to have to go to the bathroom. Uh, once you need to have to go to the bathroom, you'll crochet much qu quicker than you ever thought you could. Uh, the second step is crocheting um, like every day for a few hours for like 12 years. Um, at least a few hours every single day. That's step two. Uh, but step one is really the most important part is having to be. <laughs> and also having the pattern memorized is nice although I don't think I have this pattern memorized I think I just did it once with this boo so uh, Sunshine uh, where can you send pictures uh, you can email me them if you'd like uh, I, I'll check them out if you email me them it's my email is just Louie at clubcrochet.com. But yeah, Instagram is definitely the easiest way. Uh, you can also do Facebook. Facebook Messenger would work too. Get that white yarn.
Would it be cool if you show if we share our own Instagram and other social? I'd like to see what everyone else is making. Absolutely, Zoe. Yeah. Um, I think what would be cool is if I have a little section on the website to share your Instagrams too. Uh, I'm trying to work on like some new additions to the website so that other people can share their patterns and their um, their social media and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you want to share your social, you know, you can. Maybe not too much, though. Don't share it too much. Just because, you know, I don't want the chat to be filled with it. All right. So we finished the color changes for the eyes. Do I have another round? Yes. Okay. One more round after that. Oh, man. You know what's crazy? So Lumi Gurumi. I love that. That's... That's so clever. But with rubber bands, you're like doing Amy Groom with rubber bands. Someone actually did that um, with the goblin pattern. And I asked, I, I reached out to them. I could tell they did um, rubber band Amy Groomy. And I was like, oh man, I'd love to see my goblin pattern. So I did a swap with them and I sent them a crocheted goblin and they, they made one out of rubber bands. And it's so cool. It's actually right there. I can see it, but it's a little too far away. I can't reach it right now. All right, so we're at our almost the end here. You can see how see how those little crocheted spots work with the color changes. It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Move those guys back a little bit. I love I love Lenny there. He's so cute. He's such a grumpy butt. I love it. All right. Now we just do the 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 frill at the outside and because I just did this on the boo or I mean on the classic ghost, I think I should be able to remember how to do it pretty quick. Yeah, I think that's another answer to your question of how I'm going so fast is that I already pretty much did this pattern with the um, the classic ghost. It's a very similar pattern just with color changes instead. So I remember the majority of the pattern and once I knew where the color changes went, I just I just knew what to do there. Hipster Orc. He's actually an ogre, but he is a hipster. His name, uh, he's his name is Sven. He's a coffee schnab. Coffee schnab. All right, coming to the end here. Just gonna need to sew it closed. Oh, I forgot, I need to add the eyes. I almost forgot about the eyes. Let me do one stitch in the next round and then I'll do the eyes. Right there. Okay. All right, let's add some eyes. And what's great about this uh, spot thing for that I did for the eyes here is that you can make the eyes in any position. So you can make them looking up, you can make them looking down or left or right. I'm gonna make them looking right. I don't know why, I just like them looking to the right, personally, like that. Dog Lover, how often do I do live streams? I do live streams every Sunday. So same time, every Sunday, 
Um, well, except for the end of the month. But, yep, every Sunday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Next week, we'll be crocheting probably um, uh, some, like, Halloween-themed puppets. So, come join next Sunday. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Got those eyes on there. All right. A couple more rounds, and then I can... Of decreasing, and then we'll sew them up. I do like the soundtrack that we've been using. I'll probably use it next week as well. It's just nice. It's like simple and some recognizable songs in there, which is nice too. At least for me, like Luigi's Mansion. So. Is this from Banjo-Kazooie? People are saying this is from Banjo-Kazooie. I think you might be right. Man, I haven't played Banjo-Kazooie in so long. They should make a new Banjo-Kazooie or remake the old one. That'd be great. There we go. That last one is kind of hard to get into there. All right, now I just need to add some stuffing. And then one more round. And then I can sew them up. All right. Halloween cat. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe we could do the pumpkin cat. Pumpkin cat's a fun pattern. That's from last year or the year before. We did a collaboration with... Um, I can't remember her name. Amy Gurumi something. Anyhow, she did. we did a pumpkin cat. So it looks like a cat sticky coming out of a pumpkin. It's a really cute pattern. Maybe we can do that next week. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it up for a vote. Two, three, four, five, six... I need to think about it a little bit more, though. All right, let's add a little bit of stuffing, and then I can sew it up. All good, dog lover. We're just at the end anyhow. Hey, guys, I just want to say, uh, before I finish up the live stream, because I'm going to have to go like really quick after finish the finishing this, because I had to go to the bathroom. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you next Sunday. We'll be doing um, some, some more Halloween patterns. Make sure to join in. Also, make sure to like and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. And send your crochet ghosts uh, my way. Just post it with hashtag Club Crochet and I'll see it. Maybe post it on Instagram or wherever. We also have a Facebook group. Which you can find by just going to the Club Crochet Facebook page. You can find the Facebook group from there too. People share their crochet things there all the time. I'm trying to work on a new way. Like maybe a Discord channel or something like that soon. But I don't know yet. But yes, we have a bunch of crocheted ghosts now. There we go. There's Pinky. All right, let's show them off here. We got Lenny, our first crocheted ghost. Look at that grump. Then we got Boo, our second one that we made. Pretty cute. A little ghastly. Love the needle felt. Love his little hairdo. And then finally, Mr. Pinky. All right, guys. You watched the whole stream. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Pasta la pizza. I got to go to the bathroom. Whoa. Bye, guys. Sorry I rushed the end there. I didn't mean to. But I appreciate you guys. Bye.